Say what you want about a home theater in a box. Also known as H2. But the Clips Reference Theater Pack is way more than your grandma's H2. But more importantly, I just discovered a retailer that makes this theater pack one of the most affordable H2s on the market. So with its low price point, great sound from its satellite speakers, and incredibly powerful wireless subwoofer, this is hands down the best bargain you'll find. Fight! <laughs> Hi, my name is Elon Osborne and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about movies, audio, and music. But more specifically, today I'll be talking about the French connection. Today I'll be talking about the Klipsch 5.1 Reference Theater Pack. I got this a couple weeks ago and I am very impressed so far. As we open up the box, we have some styrofoam with a manual on top. Wow. Join me while I read every word from the manual beginning to end. Just kidding. Oh my, what's underneath the styrofoam? Satellite speakers, nicely wrapped in cloth. FYI, the satellite speakers have removable grills. So when you are taking them out of the box, just be careful that you don't kind of grab it like a claw. Instead, try and grab it from the sides and underneath and pull it out because they just came off when I took them out. Don't get me wrong, these satellite speakers are tough and resilient. So if the grill actually does come off when you pull it out and the speaker kind of stumbles around, no harm done. Cause that's what happened to me and I just thought it was pretty annoying. So I just wanted to let you know so you don't make the same mistake, okay? Back to the speakers. As you can see, we have four satellite speakers and one center speaker. The satellites are cute little speakers weighing in at just three pounds and measuring 7.75 inches high, 4.38 inches wide, with a depth of 5.37 inches. Aww. They each have a 3.5 inch copper IMG woofer. IMG stands for injection molded graphite and LTS tweeters. LTS stands for linear travel suspension, which minimizes distortion for enhanced detailed performance. Ooh. For mounting purposes, they have both a keyhole mount and a standard quarter inch by 20 threaded insert on the rear. Note, since these are relatively small speakers, their frequency response actually only goes down to 110 Hertz. Now, THX specifications indicate that your crossover frequency on any satellite speaker should be about 80 hertz. So if your receiver allows you to set your crossover frequency, make sure it's about 110 hertz or maybe 120 hertz, just because these satellite speakers can't reproduce any sound under that. Center speaker. The center speaker weighs five pounds, measuring 4.38 inches high, 10.75 inches wide, with a depth of 5.37 inches. It features dual 3.5 inch copper IMG woofers with an LTS tweeter in the center. For mounting purposes, it has dual keyhole mounts, as well as dual quarter inch by 20 threaded inserts for maximum stability. You're a dual keyhole mount. I am, aren't I? Underneath the styrofoam is a small box. Inside that little box are all the subwoofer cables, a wireless transmitter, power supply for the transmitter, and a power cable for the subwoofer itself. Speaking of, underneath that styrofoam is the sub. Coming in at 15 pounds, measuring 13.25 inches high, 11.75 inches wide, with a depth of 11.75 inches. It features an eight inch downward firing woofer. That's another reason why, nope. That's another reason why I was interested in this theater pack because it has the downward firing subwoofer. At least for my particular setup in my home, downward firing works better. It's just my personal preference, really. Fine, geez. On the rear, we have a gain knob to manually control the volume output, a low pass filter to set your crossover frequency manually, an on off switch, phase switch, as well as unbalanced RCA inputs. The spec sheet says that the transmitter comes pre-paired to the sub, so the setup is Super simple. Just plug in the transmitter into the LFE output of your receiver, insert the USB end of the power supply into the transmitter, plug it into an outlet, and turn on your sub. As you can see, there is a sync button on the transmitter, I guess, if you had syncing issues, but I didn't have to mess with it. I just plugged in the transmitter, turned on the sub, and they were synced. How do they sound? So I've had these- No. Nope. I've had these- Take three. So I've had this reference theater pack for a few weeks now, and I gotta say, for their size, I am very impressed. It might not be the most popular scene to showcase sound, but I like to do the Quidditch scene from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is that particular time when there was a rogue bludger chasing Harry. So the whooshing sounds of the rogue bludger flying around, the rogue bludger crashing into people, into the ground, 
splintering wood objects. It covers the whole gamut of low to mid-high frequencies, as well as getting to hear that object flying all around the soundstage. The part where Harry and Draco are flying their brooms through the bleachers with all the rafters whooshing by is great. But on top of that, you have the golden snitch that comes into play about halfway through the scene, slicing through the mix with its high frequencies and whooshing all around your head. And these satellite speakers didn't disappoint with their clarity. Since they only go down to 110 hertz, you didn't quite get the same impact as you would with larger speakers, being able to push the air around them more significantly. But they performed extremely well, only having 3.5 inch woofers. Not to mention... Okay then, don't. Not to mention the tweeters, outputting very bright high-end frequencies, just as Klipsch is known for compared to other competitors. But the most impressive part about this theater pack is the sub. When I first set up this theater pack, I set the gain knob on the subwoofer to about 50%. That night, my family and I watched Toy Story 2, as you do when you have kids, and the scene where the toys have to cross the street with the orange traffic cones blew me away. The point at which that diesel truck jackknifes and the cement cylinder rolls off and starts going towards the other toys. My entire house was shaking. Pictures on the walls were shifting. Glasses in the cupboards were rattling. I had to go to the sub and turn it down, even at 50%. So as it stands currently, my sub is set to about 30%, and that's where I found the sweet spot was, at least for my setup. And also, just as a side note, even music sounds really good with this sub. Now, as I said at the start, the reason I got this theater pack was because I discovered a retailer who carries this theater pack at a bargain price all year round. This video isn't sponsored by Klipsch or anyone. I bought this with my own money. And that retailer would be Costco. If you have a membership or you know somebody who has a membership and you need an HTIB that is a cut above the rest, I highly recommend getting the Clips Reference Theater Pack through Costco. Typical price for the theater pack is $450. But when I got it a few weeks ago, it was on sale for $100 off, bringing that to a whopping $350. So depending on when you're watching this video, it may or may not be on sale, but it's probably gonna go on sale again at some point. But even then, $450 year round, even that is a bargain of a price. They don't actually carry it in the store, but that's fine with me. It goes right to my doorstep. Because before I discovered Costco carried it at such a great price, I had it on a price watch on a bunch of different retailers and the price would range from like $500 to $1,200. So I thought it was just incredible that Costco had it all the time for 450 as well as on sale sometimes for 350 Trey And let's not forget that the sub is wireless. If you're like me and you want little to no wires showing at all, this alone makes it a great deal. As long as you connect it to a power outlet, you can put it under a side table, next to this old record player, in an inconspicuous corner of a room, under the piano, in a closet, next to your board game slash liquor cabinet, wherever. And last but not least, this is the greatest budget HTIB money can buy because it's Klipsch. It's not just some no-name crazy speaker company. As I invest more money into my home theater down the road, I will replace the satellite speakers with in-wall speakers. But just one of those speakers costs almost as much as this reference theater pack. So my question to you is, what are you waiting for? So there you have it, folks. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Don't forget to join my Patreon where I have... Uh, balloon animals. Don't forget to join my Patreon where I have exclusive content. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And of course, always be listening. I, 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 I got merch. Link in description. I got band camp. Link in description. I got a Patreon. Link in description. I got Etsy. Link in description. I got a kid's book. Link in description. And don't forget, get, always be listening.